Hi friends, it's Symphony. So today I'm gonna be doing a haul. <laughs> I love how you can literally see like almost all the clothes right there. Anyway, I have nowhere else to put them other than the floor and those just came out of the wash. So I don't really wanna do that. I am coming at you like fully comfortable right now. Iced coffee in all my sweats. It's honestly the first day of my period and I just really don't feel like getting all dressed up and put makeup on and all that. So I hope that's okay. But uh, I like to keep it casual on my channel. So, you know, I'm trying to debate, should I put these glasses on at a little bit of something? All that adds is a little bit of a glare. They are so cute though. I literally love how I look in glasses. Funny story, I was hanging out with a friend a couple of weeks ago. She let me try on her glasses and it was genuinely the clearest I have seen out of my eyeballs since I was a kid. And I was like, oh my God, like I really need glasses. I tried to get glasses back in high school and they completely ripped me off. They gave me like the lowest prescription possible, even though at first they said that I needed glasses. Then they dilated my eyes and were like, yeah, no, actually you just need like reading glasses. And I kid you not, they gave me the lowest possible prescription. So yeah, I really wanna get glasses, but these are just blue light glasses that I use for when I'm like editing and stuff because I get really bad headaches, but I don't know. I'll probably end up taking them off at some point, but I think they're cute. So anyways, today's haul, two minutes into the intro. Good job, Sim. I'm doing a haul today. I initially planned on this video solely being a Depop haul, but, I kind of got ripped off, so I'm annoyed and I don't have all the things here to show you guys. I will be showing you what I did actually get. I don't remember exactly how many things I ordered, but I'll be like popping up on the screen over here what the listings looked like and everything like that, but yeah, I purchased these all within like the span of like a day or two. I just saved up my tip money and then decided to buy all these things so that I could do a haul for you guys because with the pandemic, I'm not thrifting as much as I used to, probably going a little more than I should, but I promise I am being safe and careful or as much as I can be when I do go thrifting. But yeah, like I said, it's not often. It's been fun to thrift online. It's a little more expensive for sure, but I try my best to get good deals. And I specifically find Depop to be really good for getting certain brands that I don't have the money to buy brand new, nor do I want to because most of these places that have like really cute clothes are fast fashion and I'm not about to be paying more money to get clothes that are not even made ethically. So yeah, I just find it best to thrift those things. If you disagree with that, you know, I'm sorry, but I would much rather purchase things secondhand than get them, you know, thrown in a fucking landfill. I will say though, with getting certain brands, like I have quite a few brandy pieces here Girls on Depop will straight up mark brandy items so high and be like, oh, these are rare because they're not on the site anymore. So just be careful for that. My biggest tip is to always look at someone's reviews before purchasing from them. If anything, also try to message them so that you at least know that they're like active and can communicate a little bit with you. Depop will secure your transactions. Um, I've been scammed quite a few times, but I've been able to always get my money back at least. It's just a really frustrating process. So if you can try to avoid needing to go through all that, <laughs> definitely do what you can. I'm gonna go ahead and hop into the haul and I'll just kind of talk about things as I go. So I've had like so many different things that I really, really want that are hard to thrift. One of those being, I'm just gonna start off with a bang. This is my absolute favorite thing. Should I, you know what? No, I'm gonna save it. So I'm gonna start off with one of the more random purchases that I got, so I ordered this striped t-shirt. I just really liked the color of this. I didn't realize when I bought it, but it's like a really cheap shirt. I love striped shirts, especially thin stripes like this. Like I said, it's kind of a cheaper shirt. Luckily, I think I only paid like either five bucks or seven bucks for this. It wasn't much at all, but yeah, I mean, it fits okay. You can see in like some of the seams and stuff that I was like, oh wow, that's made pretty cheaply, but that's not the seller's fault at all because she did sell it to me for a super fair price. So yeah, this was the first thing I got. I thought this would be really cute to either just wear on its own with jeans to have like a really casual fit or under overalls specifically, I thought would be really, really cute. Also, whenever you buy things off Depop, make sure to leave your seller a review and try to be honest with it too, because that really helps for 
people who are going to be buying from these people in the future. So yeah, that was my first like pretty random piece. And then I ordered another really cheap shirt. I want to say it was only $5. I'm going to put the listing up here. I messaged the girl because she didn't do anything for over a week. I think it had been like 11 days and I hadn't heard anything about shipping or anything. So I messaged her. She only had one other review from selling something and that person said that she shipped fast. So I was like, um, ma'am. So yeah, anyways, I just messaged her and was like, uh, hey, not trying to be rude, but like I purchased this over a week ago. Do you think you could ship soon? And she said that she was going to ship on Monday and it is now Friday and I have not seen my shirt come in, nor has she posted tracking. So I don't really know if that's going to come in or not. That was so cheap that I honestly don't even know that I would try to get a refund. It's just really annoying, but that's kind of the gamble of shopping on Depop, unfortunately. It's kind of like you go into a thrift store and you have to purchase things without trying them on because you don't know if they'll fit. Thrifting is just really a gamble in the pandemic right now. So the next thing that I got, or the next three things rather, are three things from Brandy that I have been eyeing for a really long time. Brandy is not really a store that I want to support. Um, they are very problematic and I don't like that they're one size fits all. I used to be ignorant and be like, oh, well, I'm that size, so why does it matter? But it's not okay. Like, they need to include other sizes in their sizing so that more people can wear their clothes because their clothes are really cute. I personally think they're just a little bit expensive for what it is and I don't know 100% if they're fast fashion, but they're also not 100% ethical for sure. So yeah, I just would much rather buy their clothes secondhand. I know that these pieces were somewhat expensive. I hope I didn't have to pay more for them than they would have been in stores, but I'm pretty sure I at least got them a little bit cheaper. First thing I got was this plaid skirt. This is so cute. So I have a skirt in this exact style that I got from Target and it's like a gingham pattern. It's just black and white, but I have been really wanting just like a good plaid skirt that would look cute with like a very like grungy outfit. And I'm very, very specific about plaid. So when I saw this one, it's like a nice dark green, tan and orange pattern but it's not super loud or anything it's just nice and like muted and dark which i really really like and i was a little worried because brandy's sizing is weird sometimes i fit their bottoms perfect sometimes they're too big this happened to fit me perfect so i was really really excited about this like i said girls really overcharge on brandy stuff but i'd rather buy it secondhand so at least there's that <laughs> now the next two things i got are also brandy these are the exact same thing tops are something that are very hard for me to thrift specifically crop tops i can thrift like t-shirts sweatshirts sweaters all day long but when it comes to like cute dainty crop tops like it's nearly impossible for me to thrift those at like a goodwill or something so turn to depop and i got these two so the exact same crop tops just different patterns which now that they're next to each other this one i believe is navy but it's so dark that it almost comes off as black it's got a really cute floral pattern but this is like basically just a little bra top holding it up now it's like really thin which is kind of disappointing the only thing so these are slightly different because the bottom band on this is like it's not like stretched out or loose but it's just like soft if that makes sense anyways i really like the silhouette of this top i like that it's like kind of square neck it has a puffy sleeves but it's like really cropped i plan on getting like my stomach tattooed this year hopefully but really short crop tops with stomach tattoos there is nothing cuter in my opinion. Going ahead and getting clothes that are gonna complement my tattoos. <laughs> That's where my mind is this year, but no, I really like this top. I like wearing high-waisted things that go above my belly button, so things that are this cropped actually look cropped when I have something that high-waisted. But yeah, overall, really cute shirt, 10 out of 10. Love this one. The only thing is that the band down here, like I said, isn't like super tight. So yeah, I will definitely have to wear a bra with this one. And then the other one I got is just plain black. Now, I was like not very happy when I got this one in the mail because as you can see, there is like elastic on this side. And then on this side, it's like completely blown out in the front. Oh, also that is my deodorant on there. Please ignore that. <laughs> I tried these on whenever they like got here and I haven't washed off the deodorant stains from that. That is disgusting. Anyway, the elastic being stretched out actually didn't matter once I put it on. It stayed up perfectly fine. It was super comfortable. But yeah, that was just something I was slightly disappointed in. But the band on this one is like way more sturdy. 
So what's exciting is that I can actually wear this one without a bra and it looks really good. I think this is gonna look so cute with the skirt that I just showed you. It's gonna look cute with jeans. It's gonna look good with shorts in the summer. I'm so hyped on this. I almost want to find a white one of these. I at least already have a similar enough one, but now I'm gonna get to my absolute favorite thing that I got. I am so hyped on this. I'm pretty sure I only paid like 15 bucks for this. It's wrinkly because I washed it and left it in the dryer. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to iron it or just like throw it through the dryer again. But I got this creamy light yellow jumpsuit from Urban Outfitters. Oh my God. It's a whole long jumpsuit. It's just slightly long on me, but I just cuff it. I mean, I cuff like all my pants anyway. It's a size extra small. It's in a really amazing color. I don't really own anything this color, but I figured that I would just try it out at very least. And then if I really didn't like it, I could attempt to dye it. Chris also offered to like screen print something on this for me, which I don't know if I want to go that route. I kind of want to keep it plain. But yeah, I have been wanting a jumpsuit for such a long time. And I was finding like olive green ones and black ones of this exact style, but they were being resold for super expensive. So as soon as I saw that one, I was like, oh, that's mine. And then I want to say the shipping on all of these weren't super outrageous. So yeah, that's everything that I got off Depop. Like I said, I still have one shirt coming and then I just ordered another pair of jeans. So I might have to just like do a haul in like March and show you guys all the things that I got over an extended period of time because I'm not going to order a whole bunch of stuff at once all again. The other thing that I ordered that I got completely scammed off of were docs. Now this is my second time now getting scammed trying to buy docs and it's really frustrating. So I would advise to just not buy docs on Depop, period. But if you really, really want to, sorry, my headband is slipping. I mean, just be cautious. Like I said, make sure you really look through people's reviews and everything. But I've tried to do that and have ordered docs two separate times and been scammed both times. So yeah, I give up because yeah, I've had to deal with the whole process of being scammed and then just having to order them brand new anyway. So I am just like, screw it. I will never order docs on at Depop ever again. It's just like nicer to have brand new shoes anyway, especially at docs. I don't know how necessarily sustainable they are like as a company, but I am a firm believer that docs are probably the mo most durable shoes out there. I know that all of my docs are gonna last me years upon years upon years, and they're something that will never go out of style, at least for me personally. Docs are literally just my absolute favorite brand of shoes. Besides sneakers, I could literally live in docs all day long, all day, every day. They are, an investment piece, but so worth it in my opinion, if they're like truly your style, like they are for me. The first time I tried to get some Mary Jane Doc Martens and the girl threw them up for 50 bucks. I instantly bought it, didn't look at her reviews or anything, got scammed, had to go through the whole refund process, which took weeks. I like messaged her, I found her Instagram and she just was not responding to me on anything. It was a mess. And then this time I found the Jadens and there was a girl selling them for 140 and there was a girl selling them for 160. I went to the girl who was selling them for 160, but her shipping was outrageous and it was going to end up being the same amount as buying them brand new because you get free shipping on the Doc Martin website. So I was like, okay, like I'm not going to buy secondhand shoes for the same price that I could get them brand new. So I go to this other girl who had good reviews. She was super communicative and everything. I had such a good feeling about this. She was selling them for 140. So I was like, boom, got them, ordered them. And she's like, hey, the money on PayPal is on hold. So I'm not going to ship these. And I'm like, okay. So I did everything I could to walk her through why the money was on hold, how to fix the problem. I was sending her links to like articles and shit to read. And she was just kind of like, not sure how to fix the problem, which I was trying to be patient. And I'm like, okay, like I have everything already. These are the last thing I need for my haul. I can just wait it out. It's not a big deal. And we ended up exchanging numbers and everything. And like literally a good like two weeks go by. And finally she's like, this money is still on hold. So I'm just gonna refund your money. And I was like, okay, but like, I still want these shoes. So like, can you just repost the listing and we'll just do it again? And hopefully it doesn't get put on hold this time. And anyway, she progressively got worse about contacting me. 
and then just responds and is like, yeah, I'll post him again, but I'm going out of town to Vegas, so I won't be able to ship for another like week. And I was just kind of like, okay, like I'm trying to film this for a video, you know, I really need to get these like quick. It's already been so long. And she texts me again and is like, yeah, my boyfriend's trying to convince me not to sell them. And I was like, fuck this, I'm done. Like this has been such a process and i've tried to be patient with you like i'm over it i'm just gonna buy them new and then yeah she tried to message me again and was like i have other docs if you're interested and i was just like no i literally like didn't even respond it was so frustrating um so yeah i mean that was just kind of like a weird situation i have yet to leave her a review because i don't know if i should leave her a bad one because like she was nice and I like to think that she like really tried, but it was just weird and she wasted my time and it was really annoying. So yeah, that's my whole story about that. So long story short, I ordered Jaden's brand new. Ah! I'm so, so hyped. So I already have a pair of black dogs, but they are the kids version and they have the zipper like these Jaden's do, but because they're the kids style, they sit really low on my ankle and I just don't find them flattering on my feet for some reason. I only liked them for maybe the first year that I had them because I bought them in high school with my own money. I like saved up and everything from doing like chores and shit. And I was so excited because I was going to buy my very first pair of docs. And yeah, they just, in the long run, I wish that I just would have gotten the women's sizing. But I was trying to save some money. I got them for like 70 bucks. I want to say I got them maybe like my freshman year of high school and i am now 22 years old and they're still going strong uh but i'm kind of keeping them as just like my work boots my snow boots i know that docs aren't like winter boots but i wear them in the snow because they're pretty much just i can hike in them i can go in the snow in them i just wear them for whatever i don't care if they get messed up because i now have these babies i like the jadens because they have a much nicer silhouette than my other black ones do the leather on these looks really nice. It feels like it's gonna be really comfortable to break these in. And then my favorite thing is the platform. For some reason, I never realized that these have black laces and I'm really debating if I should put my old yellow laces on these. So if you think that I should switch these out to the yellow laces, let me know. Cause it's gonna take a little bit for these black ones to grow on me, but I do think they look nice though with the black laces. I'm just not used to it. I have my brown ones that have yellow laces and those are beautiful. I love them so much. I now have my upgraded black pair. These are gonna be amazing with like skirts and dresses. I am just really obsessed with these. Long story short, I got the Jadens. I now only have one more pair that I want for my Doc Martin collection and it is the sandals. I don't remember the exact name. Since I've bought myself like three pairs of Docs within the last however long, I'm gonna take a break for a while because Docs are not cheap. I'm gonna get those brand new probably in the spring. And then once summer hits, I really wanna get a pair of Birkenstocks. And then honestly, I think my shoe collection will be complete after that. So once like summer hits, if you guys wanna see a shoe collection, let me know. I am very hyped on those. I can't wait to break those in. I have these silicone heel covers that i got off amazon that are a dream for breaking docks in i'll leave those linked down below if you are also like an avid dock wearer like i am because they're a game changer and they really 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 do help for like breaking your docks in and if your docks are just slightly big on you they add a little cushion kind of like an insole would so yeah highly recommend those anyways this whole pile let's get into it i went thrifting yesterday and it was like very spur of the moment. Whenever you're on your period, do you sometimes just like switch positions that you're sitting in and it just, you feel it, you know? I hate it. Maybe I should go to the bathroom, BRB. Back to the haul. This is everything that I got at Goodwill. Like I said, the trip was like super spur of the moment. So I was not really expecting to even find anything. And this whole pile of clothes was only 30 bucks. Really, really good deal. So much better than shopping on Depop where I spend almost $30 on just one item. First thing is this really awesome, big comfy sweatshirt. Pretty sure it's like a vintage brand, but I really like the color of this a lot. I don't know this exact color, but it's like a blue green kind of dark teal color. I might have Chris screen print this one for me. He was going to get it for a shop and I've had him screen print like a couple of sweatshirts for me. One of them, it completely bled through because it was way too thin of a material. So 
that one didn't work out and then I had him do another one that I got this girl was doing this thing on Depop where she was like donating clothes and all you had to pay was shipping which was really cool but I got a sweatshirt from her through that and I did not like the fit of it it was really uncomfortable I mean I still have it and he screen printed on it for me but I want his old design on this one I believe so yeah that's why I stole that one. Second thing I got was this olive green cardigan. I think it has like a tiny hole back here, which is not a big deal. I could easily just like stitch that up really fast, but I'm just like not worried about it. I've been looking for just a cute little button up cardigan for a while. And I think this is it. It's a size small, so it fits me really well. The buttons don't like come apart in the middle, which is the most important thing. This button at the top is kind of loose. So I might need to like re-sew that back on by hand, which it's not a big deal, I can do that. Super easy. I'm just really happy with it. This is my favorite shade of green right here. I like to think it matches my eyes. I think it looks really, really good with my hair color now. It looks good with my red hair too, but yeah, this is just like my color. And it's not the only green cardigan I got, but it's a completely different style from this other one. And then this sweater. <laughs> I've been obsessed with this style of sweater, you guys. It's like, I've, I think I've got like four of these now where they have like the buttons at the top. This is another Eddie Bauer. This is way more vintage than the other one I have. It's white, just plain white with big chunky wooden buttons and it's a size small. Do you know how hard it is to find these vintage sweaters that aren't like an XL? I could not believe it. I almost screamed when I found this and Chris was just probably thinking in his head like, this bitch found another one of these and is gonna buy it. Yeah, <laughs> like this is literally just the most perfect sweater. I love it so much. I'm so happy. It's literally the most beautiful creamy shade of white. Like I said, these buttons are amazing. These go for like $80 on girls like Instagram pages. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. There is not a stain on this thing either. Like I am so impressed. This is hands down the best thing I thrifted yesterday. I know I said that I wanted to stop decluttering my clothes, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to go through my clothes once like summertime hits and just make sure I'm really getting good use out of all these clothes I'm thrifting, but oh, I just can't help myself, y'all. So the next thing I got was this skirt. So what was really exciting was that this Goodwill is my absolute favorite Goodwill to go to and they had it closed down for a little over a month and me and Chris got really worried, but turns out they were just remodeling and like rearranging. And now they, oh my God, I'm so happy. They sort everything by size. I know the whole like beauty of thrifting is that you have to sift through everything, you know? But as a very small person, it just makes it a lot easier, especially in pants and skirts and just like bottoms to be able to just go to my size. So yeah, this was in the small section and I got so excited about it that I didn't even look at the actual size on it. But look how beautiful this skirt is. It is probably about an inch too big around my waist. So I think what I'm going to do is try to like sew on a couple of like just like plain black belt loops. I don't really know how to do that. I don't sew at all. I would love to learn. Add a couple of belt loops and just wear a belt with it. This is the cutest looking skirt. I love vintage like grandma skirts like this. Always have. But it is so hard to find them in my size. This is the closest to my size that I've almost ever found in like a genuine vintage skirt like this. I specifically really love the buttons going down the front. It's like not so big that it doesn't fall off my hips, but it just doesn't stay at like the peak of my waist like I want it to. But once I put that belt on, I was like, whoa, that's cute. Overall, I really, really love this skirt. I'm so happy I found it. I will definitely find a way to make it work. I think that that's a really good option too, that if you find something you love at the thrift store and it's like so close to fitting, but just not quite, take it to get it altered because Thrifting something and getting it altered is way, way cheaper than like buying something brand new. But let's just keep going with this haul. So this was the very first thing I saw when I walked in. The tag fell off, but it had like a cool, like almost vintage looking tag. And this is the skirt. It's a very long maxi, like full on maxi velvet green skirt. The waistband could be a little tighter because all of this velvet fabric is really heavy. So it kind of tugs the skirt down a little bit. Overall, I mean, it does fit. What I find interesting, which I didn't realize, I thought it had a slit in it when I bought it, but it actually just flares out a little bit at the very bottom to be like 
a mermaid style. I think that this would fit a size small just a little bit better than me who's an extra small. I could make it work, but when I put it on, I wasn't like fully in love with it. So I think I'm gonna try to resell this on my Depop if you're interested. But yeah, it just didn't fully fit me how I was expecting. It's super cute, don't get me wrong. But yeah, I feel like it just needs a slightly better home. That's like the only thing I bought that I am not hanging on to though. Everything else was like 10 out of 10 gem. So the next thing I got was this dark gray sweater vest. I kind of bought this on a whim. I currently have a cream one that's got like flecks of other colors in it. And then I have a patterned one, which that one, it has the best pattern ever, but it just fits me. Like not how I would want a sweater vest to fit me. I do wear those two quite a lot though. So I got this gray one because I thought it would be cute to wear this with a bunch of gold jewelry and to even wear this on its own because it's really thin and it's got like the big armholes. I just, I threw this on with nothing underneath it and I was like, whoa, that's a bad bitch. So I'm thinking this with like my black tennis skirt that you guys have all seen and then like my docks. Oh my God, that would be such a cute fit. Gray used to actually be my favorite color for a good period of time. And then just one day I woke up and I couldn't stand gray at all anymore. I only like this very dark shade of gray or this really, really light shade. Like, I don't know. I'm very specific about my gray tones now, but just really, really like this. And like I said, I think gold jewelry would complement this really well. It would look good with blue jeans with trousers with a skirt yeah it's very versatile i really like it it's a size medium so it's slightly baggy but because it's a thin enough material and everything i think it'll tuck in really well don't ramble on too much but that's super cute and then i have a white sweater that i like but i'm not fully in love with and it got stained pink from a pair of my red jeans when will i learn i kind of want to donate that sweater and i upgraded to this white sweater this one's much softer. It's way nicer than the other one. The other one I have is a Forever 21. This is Lucky brand. It just feels nicer. It's super comfy. Now that I washed it, it's like really soft, but it's a nice like pure white sweater. So it'll be really versatile and everything. I have quite the sweater collection at this point. So that's why I'm kind of saying like, I should probably declutter just a little, like nothing too crazy, but just kind of like, get rid of duplicates that I have, pick my favorites, that kind of thing. And then for the very last thing of this haul, I'm like so out of breath. I've been filming for 40 minutes. I got this nice long olive green cardigan. No buttons on it or anything. The brand is Anna, a new approach. I tried this on and Chris really loves the fit of it on me. I just thought that this would be perfect with like skirts, with jeans. It's literally the perfect cardigan and I love this color once again. This is like the same shade of green as that other cardigan I got, which that one I plan on wearing like a shirt. This one is solely to throw over things. But I'm just really obsessed with this. This is going to be one of my most worn for sure. Just the fit of it. Like it fits tightly, but it's not like skin tight, but it's long and it's cozy and it's just, it's wonderful. 10 out of 10. This is probably... My second favorite find. I don't know. Really love it though. I seriously, I got so lucky this time with thrifting. I wanted to get some more like home decor type stuff, but yeah, that didn't like, I didn't find any home decor actually now that I think about it. I gotta end this video, wrap it up here. Thank you guys for watching. I love doing thrift hauls. They're like one of my favorite videos to do. I love thrifting. I love making videos for you guys. So it's just win-win you know it makes me feel like i have more of a purpose for buying these things too and i can like actually do something with them since we're in a pandemic and i'm not wearing all these clothes out and about as much as i would like to but yeah that's all for my video i hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see more content from me make sure you subscribe to me down below hit the notification bell as well so that you can see when i upload and yeah i love you guys so much thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye guys